guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about 90 Day Fiance, Juliana and Michael's ex fake video, plus a couple's update, plus a quick review recap of last night's episode, season 7, episode 10. Okay guys, this is going to be a in-depth video, okay? I have not done a 90 Day Fiance video in a minute. And to be quite honest with you, I've just been busy, okay? Them no good housewives have really been keeping me busy these days, okay? But I still have lots of love for 90 Day. Um, I will always love the show. It's not as interesting this season as previous seasons, but that doesn't mean um, I don't watch the show anymore. Actually, people, I got an email to someone related to the show who was like, what's going on here? Are you not doing 90 Day anymore? I very much am doing 90 Day. I have just been busy, busy, busy packed. So it was really an honor to be asked if my videos were we're going to continue and they are so now so i'm not going to do them as often because i'm really really busy but i'm going to give you so much inner information that your head is going to explode people explode so grab a cup of tea and let's get started okay so last night's episode of 90 day fiance was pretty good i mean i wouldn't have named it 90 day fiance i really did think i was looking at an episode of divorce court okay because all of these couples were bickering and on the brink of breaking up okay every single one of them with the exception of one and that will be michael and juliana okay so let's start with them first before we start talking about everyone else breaking up it was insane people insane okay so in real time, well, let's go what happened on the show first. So last night on the show, uh, Juliana kind of opened up to Michael's ex. What's her name? I believe it's Sarah, but don't quote me on that. Uh, opened up to Michael's ex, um, was telling her, you know, how bad her first marriage was, how um, the guy after, right after she married him, he turned on her and um, got very controlling and, you know how unhappy she was and then uh michael's ex start telling juliana you know make sure no this is what she said she said be in charge of your own money because he'll start thinking he has too much power and that's not a good place to be and they were acting like uh two high school i mean two uh old college friends catching up after old times what huh what do you guys remember how she was acting in the earlier episodes? I'm talking about the ex-wife. Like she didn't trust her as far as she can throw her. And now I love you, buddy. Let's be besties. It was weird, okay? But it doesn't stop on the show, okay? In real time, they're still acting like besties, okay? They're posting pictures of themselves on Instagram, dancing. If you want to see their really bad dance moves, go in the description box and click on the link. You know, I, I've had enough. You know, it was bad, but I got the meaning of the video is that they're buddies now okay well people are liking it okay people are saying really mean things and if i i would tell you what they're saying but you know what i have cleaned up my act people i don't say mean things about people anymore i'm only here to repeat what's going on so people are saying that um because i back in the old days i called uh juliana the Best hoe I ever seen on television, okay? I just thought for sure she was like one of those gold digging hoes, okay? But you know, I cleaned up my act. Remember, I'm not gonna say that. But so I'm not gonna say anything bad about her, but the public is, okay? So people are saying something's fake about this relationship. They called the video cringeworthy, okay? They were like, well, these two besties now, they were saying that Michael's ex should not trust Juliana, okay? Like, why? What did she do to you guys, okay? I mean, the old me would have said, hell no, don't trust her. This is the best hoe in the business. But that's the old me. Remember, I changed my ways. I'm not going to say that anymore. She does have a record, in my opinion, that I would be very concerned about and would keep my eye on her at all times, okay? Maybe this is what Michael's ex is doing. Maybe she's befriending her enemies. Keep What's that saying? Keep your enemies close? Oh, I don't remember what the hell it is. Something like that. Maybe she's keeping her eye on Juliana because it is a complete turnaround. You went from not trusting her. You said, remember, you're not their mom and don't raise them and basically shut up and know your place. Basically what she said to now, hey, buddy, want to go out for, you know, cupcakes and beer? Like what? Huh? 
it it's kind of unusual okay the public isn't liking it i'm not going to give my opinion about it i'm not going to say like what the hell is going on in juliana anna can never be trusted at all times i'm not going to say that because i'm neutral i'm giving you a neutral point of view but you know i understand you know people's concerns i'll put it that way okay so but they were the only one acting like a couple on last night's episode let's get to the other you know couples okay Okay, next there's Anna and Marcel. Okay, last night's episode was <laughs> really sad. They were breaking up. <laughs> they were breaking up. Uh, he was going back to Turkey. And to say that both of them were crying over the situation would be an understatement, okay? To say they were weeping would be an understatement. It was like a full-on, like, rainstorm, okay? These two were crying every five minutes, okay? Let's see if I can do it. Well, first of all, I don't understand why they're crying, okay? Because number one is Anna told him to tell his family in Turkey that she had children, okay? She made him. He told her before she made him do it what was going to happen, okay? The only part she was shocked at is that she didn't know he was going to go back home, okay? But I don't know what kind of game she's playing here. She knew that this very well would be... So one of the things that could happen if he told his family, because remember, in this country, it's very, very bad to, you know, date a woman with children already. So, you know, she's asking him, in a sense, your family or me, and he picked a side. He said, my family, but he felt very bad about it. Now, now, those no good people on the Internet, you know, they're vultures, people, they're vultures. They're going around saying that something they think something's wrong with Marcel, okay? <laughs> like wrong like that, okay? I don't know why people are saying this. I don't know if this is mannerisms. It could be the way that he cried. It did look, you know, kind of odd. It was something like, Ugh. it did look kind of odd. Like I, I really haven't seen anyone cry like that in a while. Well, never, especially a man. But, you know, I guess, you know, you could get emotional at times. You know, he probably just should have, you know, closed his mouth just a little bit. But people are saying that, you know, they think that he's slow, okay? And I wouldn't go that far. I would say maybe a delay. It does come across like something's not quite right with Marcel, but he's from a different country. He doesn't even speak our language. It could be a cultural thing. I don't know what's going on, but I just think it's really mean that, you know, people are giving him the name on the internet as being, you know, a uh, touched in the head okay now but whatever the case Anna likes him okay and she was upset they cried the whole time because he was going back to Turkey Anna tried to bully him at times don't touch me get out of here leave now and then she ended up showing up to take him back to the airport and it was just yeah, divorce court it was really bad now we know in real time that this couple is still together and they did get married but nevertheless, this is what they had to get through before they got married. Okay, so let's move on to our next couple. Next, there's Michael and Angela. Okay, on this episode, Angela went to Nigeria to visit Michael and kind of lick their wounds because Michael did get denied into getting into the U.S., okay? And remember, he's devastated people. He wanted to get here so bad so he could meet his idol, Donald Trump, okay? Now it looks like that's not going to happen. He showed up at the airport with... um. A cake, big huge cake for Angela. I don't know if that's, you know, necessarily a good thing. You know, uh, she's really been looking, uh, working on her looks these days. And um, in this picture, she looks amazing. Okay, it's like she did something to her skin. Looks like the Botox work. So, you know, she's looking really good. But that's not the major story here. What's the major story is what's going on with these two in real time. In real time, people are saying that the two got married, okay? And they're saying that they got married because she posted this video on Instagram, which she's sh uh, sending a shout out to a couple. And she says she can't wait until everyone can congratulate them, congratulate her on her marriage. What marriage is she talking about? So people are saying that these two are married in real time. And not only that, it makes a lot of sense because if they did get married in real time, it will strengthen Michael's chances of getting into the U.S. So, you know, it looks like another couple on this show has gotten married. Okay, so now, now let's move on to the next couple. Next, there's Tanya and Sinjin. Um, they were just bickering the entire episode. She came back 
from um, the jungle, because remember, she's out there trying to be a root doctor or something like that. She came back to the U.S. They spent the night in New York and the entire ride home. They were bickering back and forth, basically because um, Sinjin's taking his time on getting a job. OK, basically. But I mean, I understand her concerns, but, you know, I, if I want to see people argue, I'll just call my mom and dad. Like, I don't want to see you guys bickering the entire show. Now, this is another couple that has been rumored to have been married in real time. As a matter of fact, this marriage certificate is circling the Internet. So it looks like he married her. I mean, okay. I mean... Wasn't all her nagging, you know, a warning sign, Sinjin? Did you need to get in the U.S. that bad? But I guess you did. So, you know, uh, congratulations. So let's move on. Next, there's Blake and Jasmine. And in this episode, Blake's friend basically had an intervention for him. They all sat him down. Have you ever seen that show, Intervention, when you come in the room and all your friends have a serious look on their face? That's what it was like in this episode. They all sat him down and was like, we saw the way that Jasmine was acting while we were performing. She really wasn't that into it. And how do you know this girl isn't using you? Of course, Blake, the blinders, you know, that's what I call him, Blake, the blinders. He has blinders on. Insisted that, no, that's just how she is. They don't have nightclubs in her country. So, you know, she was out of her element. I mean, I guess he thought that made sense. But here's the true story in all of this. In real time, he married her, okay, people? Now, according to her, she really doesn't act like that in real life. I mean, okay, I mean, if you say so, liar, liar, pants on fire, you know, if you were to ask me, but, you know, he married her, and they are a happy couple, and it looks like the friends are, you know, trying to be supportive, but, you know, I, I know an asshole when I see one, people. I wouldn't have never married her, but you know, I'm not Blake and I'm not dumb. Okay, so let's move on. Now, our final couple would be Natalie and Mike. Out of all of the storylines, I would say I'm most fascinated by this one. Because as we all know, in the beginning of the season, it was Natalie using Mike to get to the U.S., okay? I mean, let's just say what it is, you know. It is what it is. She was using him, okay? She fell in the category of another, you know, gold digging hoe, in my opinion. But when he announced a couple episodes ago that he was an atheist, he didn't believe in God, it just started to go downhill after that. I mean, and she took her eyes off of the prize, which was getting into the U.S., okay? So then last night, they asked her in her interview if she loved Mike, and she said she doesn't love him, but she could grow to love him. That was enough. They broke up, okay? He was devastated. Like, I just don't understand this undisciplined gold digger. You're supposed to keep your eye on the prize that's getting into the U.S., and now look at Grandma or your mom. She's stuck up in that room, still in the Ukraine, okay? Because I have searched high and low people. There is no evidence that these two are even still together, let alone marriage. I mean, they really did break up. I mean, it's sad news because now she has to go back on that app and start all over. I mean, really, Natalie? You just can keep your mouth shut. Now could you? You want it more and more and more. I mean, that's what you get. I mean, no offense. I mean, at least in my opinion. So that's my review of last night's episode, plus I update on where all the couples stand right now. So what I want to know today in my comment section is who thinks that Juliana is putting one over on the family that she really can't be trusted and she really is after Michael's money. Who still thinks that? I know because it seems like, you know, she is winning over the family, okay? Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.